Hey everyone and welcome to the Daily Scope, 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 Scopes for the 6th of November. Okay, so first of all the moon enters Aries at 7.34pm GMT time or the time to mention our British time, some British winter time. So when the moon moves into the constellation of Aquarius, you and others may communicate more directly and thoughtlessly going after what you want without thinking about other people's reactions or feelings can be a lot of egotistical behaviour can be emotional and predictable time where people are more likely to go off their gut feelings and intuition rather than do rational logical thought in their analysis or in their actions so be careful of that some people may be self-conscious and sensitive they're normal and irritation can be caused by impatience and going to extremes and get in your own way. Even if you are the more sire type, you can become more assertive at this time and have more self-confidence, which is good for your setting boundaries, especially because people can want to walk over them. But although you stick up for yourself, remember also to respect other people's opinions and needs as well, because sometimes this service energy can make us get carried away with the Mars influence and the Pluto influence as well. The moon in Aries, when it's in the constellation, because I do constellational astrology, which is based on where the sun and the moon and the planets are at any given time. So yeah, moon in Aries, good time for self-promotion, physical activity, entrepreneurial ventures, research and stuff like that, getting things started, going out there, putting yourself out there, going for that promotion in your job. Just remember that competitiveness can be high because everybody can refuse to take second place right now and everybody wants to be number one. So just, you know, there may be some competition, but, you know, put your best foot forward. Make sure you know the ins and outs of anything you promote yourself for and you should do good. There can also be like a dislike of limitations and people wanting more freedom. So this can cause problems in relationships. Short tempers and impatient action can cause mistakes and accidents. There can be just a lot of waste of energy if you let in other resources such as money and stuff. So just do all you can to just focus on your own business, suspect others and everything will be fine. For farmers out there, when the moon's in Aries, this can be an excellent time to harvest and store your crops, cultivate your ground and eliminate weeds and insects. It's also a good time to mow your lawn and fertilise it. So yeah, with the moon going into Aries, we all were also <laughs> have got Mercury making the Queen Quartz to Chiron. So this energy supports for self-reflection. If you to start it or to continue it, to heal your spiritual, emotional, psychological traumas, this is a good chance to speak about issues you struggle with or to pass on the wisdom you learnt from your personal battles in your past to others who may be feeling a bit down now, especially with money problems and other stuff like that, breakups, heartaches and stuff. And just even a smile or a simple gesture, I don't know, if they drop something, pick it up, this may inspire them to cheer up and just feel a bit lighter. Negatively, talking the truth may cause problems in relationship. Still, it's what's needed right now to get rid of toxicity in your connections. Although some of you may fear speaking your mind, it's the right thing to do. You may reject the things someone says as it's painful to hear, but try and understand the underlying message rather than take it as criticism. The only ways issues can be understood, forgiven and moved on from is to thoroughly discuss them and work through any securities. It's the best use of the Mercury, Queen Quartz, Chiron energy. But negatively also people may find it hard to understand their own wounds and other people's wounds and be horrible to them or you numb your own feelings, try not to do that. The sun also makes a sister quadrant to Jupiter. So this is a sort of energy, but this allows to find the right solutions to your problems. So this supports emotional exploration, even though you may be like, ah! Oh, it's too hard i don't want to do it this energy um of sun sister quadrant jupiter helps you to see that there are infinite resolutions to your problems if you keep on looking for them because oftentimes we give up and just get a bit disheartened with life and although it may be best to quit while you're ahead especially in discussions saying the wrong things that can lead to endless debates and waste energy but sometimes getting in these endless debates is the way we find solutions so it's a catch-22 but yeah just 
toy and hang in there, walk away from anything hard, but know that you can, this energy support in resolution after maybe long winded discussions, kind of like how I'm rambling on and how I do. So yeah. The sun also makes a quintile to Pluto. Now, again, this is a sort of energy, but can have a, a profound effect on things as well. You know, it supports making substantial changes to your life and your plans. And just to realise that you can only control your own actions and not other people's. It's worthless trying to control others because, you know, that's something that's ultimately beyond your control. The Sun Quintile Pluto makes it possible to take whatever happens in your stride and focus on solutions rather than the problems. Gives the power to influence yourself and others with words and or actions and just charisma and charm and aura. And as the moon's in Aries today, where everybody can be a bit selfish, direct and say and do things in a way that's not really tactful. So this, this energy allows you to accept these things that the moon in Aries may make you and others do. We have Mercury opposed the North Node as well. So what this brings to the table is some people can overthink and block in our intuitive guidance, like what Mercury can clutch tyrants trying to make you do. And just things can become volatile and at worst unnecessary arguments. So this is going back to the moon in Aries, you know, so just watch out for that. And just because something doesn't make rational sense to you right now doesn't mean it's irrelevant. So, you know, just be open-minded. No one's telling you to believe everything that someone else says, but just be open-minded about it. Because although you may think you're better, you may be fooling yourself because you fear getting out of your comfort zone and making those much-needed changes in your life. Sometimes in life we can plan as much as we want, but external forces, so this is another transit that reminds us that sometimes we just, in life, if we really want to get to, and what I find in my experience where we want to go, we have to keep on going over those obstacles and pain as well as happiness are part of life. And when we accept that and it's hard and no one's saying, if you're not there in that mindset, it's taught me quite a while to get here. And sometimes I still fall back into dark, depressed emotions because, hey, I'm only human after all, so I know it's hard. But even to love yourself in them dark moments can bring comfort rather than rejecting yourself and being hard on yourself and saying, oh, I'm not doing enough and I'll never be who I want to be. Just take those small, solid steps daily. And even if you miss some days and fall back, it's all part of the journey. Just be gentle with yourself. So, yeah, some of you have to open up to these random occurrences and this information that you may not like to move forward and there's a risk that you do things to appear busy rather than actually being so just to avoid being confronted with the truth and this transit wants you to be more flexible and open yourself up to the bigger details rather than focus on the minor ones only when mercury opposes the north node so that you don't fail whatever it is you want to do in the long run and just remember change is scary but it's needed so that you don't miss the very opportunities that you need to move forward and achieve your overall goals let's try and be open this is the the main message of today try and be open and rather than closed-minded right now so you can express and reach your highest potential in the long run so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 6th of november